Roshi, Laoshi Japanese, old teacher, old master. Chinese Pinyin Laoshi is a title in Zen Buddhism with different usages depending on sect and county. In Rinzai Zen, the term is reserved only for individuals who have received Inka Shomei, meaning they have completed the entire koan curriculum. This amounts to a total of less than 100 people at any given time. In Soto Zen and Sanbo Kyodan, it is used more loosely. This is especially the case in the United States and Europe, where almost any teacher who has received Dharma transmission might be called Roshi, or even use it to refer to themselves, a practice unheard of in Japan. Etymology The Japanese Roshi is a translation of the more antiquated Chinese Laozi Wade Giles, Lao Tzu meaning old master and connoting the archetype of a wise old man. The modern Chinese Lao Shi, Lao Shi Chinese Pinyin, Lao Shi is a common word for teacher or professor without the religious or spiritual connotation of Roshi. Chinese Chan Buddhism Zen is the Japanese transliteration of Chan uses the semantically related title Sifu, Shifu Shifu literally, Master Father or father of masters, or shifu, shifu literally, master teacher, or teacher of masters, both pronounced shifu as an honorific title for the highest masters, but it also may be used in respectful address of monks and nuns generally. Usage Traditionally, the term Roshi has been applied as a respectful honorific to a significantly older Zen teacher considered to have matured in wisdom and to have attained a superior understanding and expression of the Dharma Japanese, Mujodo no Taigen. Typically, a Roshi will have received Dharma transmission Jap, Inka Shome, many years ago and although often the abbot or spiritual director of a monastery may in fact be too old to carry these responsibilities, despite this historical reality, it has come in some modern Zen schools to be applied as a general title for a teacher regardless of the age of the individual who receives it. This is especially true in the United States and Europe where it appears that some confusion has arisen where the word Roshi has been conflated with the term Osho, which is the generic term for a Soto Buddhist teacher who has received Shiho and completed her or his basic training. Historically, the term Roshi will only be applied to an Osho after they have given many years of service as a teacher. Rinzai. In some Rinzai organizations, a monastic is sometimes called Roshi after they have received Inka Shome, meaning they have completed koan study and received Dharma transmission from their master. In Rinzai Zen, it is relatively easy to say who is a Roshi and who is not. Anyone who is authorized by another Roshi i.e. his teacher is a Roshi. This authorization, officially the Inka Shome document, is documented on a piece of paper, that is why it is also called colloquially. Ichi mai, that is, one sheet of paper. The transmission is totally vertical from teacher to student, no peer control is involved. That means that the Rinzai sect has no means to control who is made a Roshi and who is not. In spite of that, the number of Rinzai Roshis is usually less than 100 at any given time. According to Roshi Soken Sushimoto, the title of Roshi is equivalent to Zen master and shaikh. Roshi is the title compatible with the most formal title shaikh who got officially authorized as a dharma successor by authentic master. Topic: <inaudible> Soto. In the Soto organization, a person is sometimes called Roshi after they have received the title of shaikh, but this is by no means standard practice. There are about 50 or so of these in Soto. The Rinzai Roshis can also be addressed as Shaik. T. Here is a kind of committee, called the Shaik Kai, consisting of all Japanese Soto Shaik. There is no foreign Shaik, as far as I know. The Shaik Kai can appoint anyone as a Shaik whom they consider their equal, i.e., who has done genuine training and study, cultivated himself, and reached whatever understanding that might be considered enlightened enough to match the enlightenment of the other Shaik. So shaikh appointment can be called horizontal in a way. Western Zen 
Many Zen communities in the United States confer the honorific title of Roshi to their teachers as a regular title, in deference to perceived Japanese Zen tradition. In most Western instances it is used synonymously with the term Zen master, which has a quite specific meaning in Japan, namely the select group of persons who are qualified to supervise the head temples and monk training halls. In the West, Rinzai and Soto uses of the term have been mixed. Rinzai Zen came first to the West, so a Roshi was understood as someone who was a Zen master with certain credentials. With the introduction of Soto, the emphasis on personal relationship was grafted on, making a complex term that merged the official and legal with the personal and affectionate. To complicate matters further, the Diamond Sangha, the Los Angeles Zen Center and the Rochester Zen Center lineages have combined elements of both modern-day Soto and Rinzai Zen. It's no wonder there is ambiguity and diversity in the usage of Roshi in the West. In the Sanbo Kyodan, a lay organization that combines Soto and Rinzai elements, a person is called Roshi when they have received Inca, indicating they have passed the koan curriculum and received Dharma transmission. Criticism The use of the term Roshi in the U.S. and Europe has at times led to confusion and controversy. Stuart Lax has argued that Zen institutions in the West have often attributed a mythic status to the title Roshi with harmful consequences. See also Dharma transmission Osho Sensei Zen master Zen ranks and hierarchy <laughs>